Hello, I'm Jean-Claude Monachon. A very warm welcome again to this channel. Very happy to see you. Today, I'm going to take the other side from Webinar Jam, actually to present you as an attendee and see, show you what you can do as an attendee, what you have to know, just to be very comfortable when you will join a webinar using Webinar Jam. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, don't forget to just uh, subscribe to this channel. You will have more tutorials coming up in the very near future and uh, check also the description, everything is there, all the links are there and you are welcome to do that. Look, see you on the other side of the screen. So now when I switch to my normal screen, as I said just before, and I enter my uh, code uh, to uh, register for the next uh, meeting, then obviously I land to this page and then I can just click on register. You click on register, it's pretty easy. And then you select the meeting that you want to participate with. You enter your first name and then your email address and then your phone number. The phone number is required there. There is some version that it's, it's not required, but in this one it's required. So it gives the opportunity for the host to make sure that he has the correct phone number for you. And then here you can also auto subscribe to future webinar for from this host. So then you don't have to do this process again. And again, you can see here also the, the time zone. You can also convert to your time zone. Then you click on register and the process will be launched. You will be receiving if you do it on time, you will be receiving in normal uh, conditions uh, an email to confirm that you will receive an email an hour before maybe 15 minutes before and after the webinar you may be receiving also a replay uh, email where you will access the webinar again and you will be able to ask questions too so once you click on your email uh, link that you receive to enter the the webinar then uh, you will be arriving on this page and you will see that the webinar is set to start in a few minutes so uh, i'm going to pause it now but just wait until the webinar host starts the meeting so the meeting is about to start now do not refresh this page until uh, you are connected it may take up to 30 seconds You should be able to enter soon. So, and here you see the, we are in the webinar room, but the host did not start the webinar so far. So here, just a few functions, you can request to speak. So the host will be seeing that you would like to speak. He may invite you to enter the room or not, depending on the number of attendees, usually uh, it's more difficult to have somebody entering in terms as a presenter. Just notice that if you are able to enter as a presenter, you will have to relaunch your system. So uh, just don't be um, uh, afraid about that. It's a, a pretty easy process. Then here you will see that uh, you have the number of attendees, the time the webinar is running. And this is actually the chat function. The chat function will also be um, enabled when you will be using, for example, the replay mode. If you watch the replay of this webinar, then at that moment you will be able to uh, define the, um, the, the or use the, the chat function. Here you can do it here by uh, sending a message to the admin only. So that would be to the host or to the presenters or moderators of the webinar or to everybody. Usually it's more um, uh, appropriate to send it to everybody because in a, in a normal webinar, the host may be uh, willing to really uh, share everything with you. So let's see if the host now goes live. And that should be then uh, starting your webinar. You may also entering uh, um, your name here. So the webinar is almost ready now. It should start uh, shortly. 
and here you see you can uh, add in the chat you can add messages so uh, to everybody or just to um, to the admin all right and now when you see this screen this means that the host has started the webinar that is live there and that you can uh, start the broadcast so at that moment you can really go into the, the webinar and really start and you will see his presentation you will see him or her depending of uh, the type of the webinar and then usually what is the best to do is really say that um, you will be asked if you can uh, hear uh, any question if you can see the screen just type uh, one or yeah i was just uh, out of the system for a while i'm back now so um, and again just type your question and you will uh, be receiving everything then uh, that's all basically nothing to add to this um, you have a perfect interaction with the host of the webinar you will see everything and uh, let's see another function another cool thing that uh, uh, could be made with a webinar jam uh, for the attendees first of all you see the presentation you will receive the replay email at the end of the webinar but also if the presenter wants to share a document then you will see it here so for example here you see now a file that you would be able to download so you can just uh, click on there and just download this file and then you have it uh, too so for example now you would have a, a checklist on social media on your uh, drive so you can uh, obtain uh, files that uh, the host may be willing to share so this is uh, this is quite good i also recommend to uh, use webinar jam from a desktop computer version it's uh, easy especially if you are following a a webinar with slides and not only just a face-to-face -face, uh, meeting so that's the best uh, version you can obviously do it also from a phone but it's not as comfortable as from let's say a desktop computer also now uh, I hope you like this and if you uh, like it just uh, put a like uh, a thumbs up and otherwise also uh, just subscribe to this channel I would be very pleased to uh, to have you uh, in this I will continue to put some other tutorials thank you and bye bye